Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Quick View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek and this is my second video related to the uh, Quick View Scripting Basics. So in this video I will walk you through with how to use the if statement in Quick View Scripting and how to create a hard-coded well, hard uh, column for your data set and the reason behind it. So let's see uh, any requirement uh, for if statement. So here if I see, suppose this uh, city name is Las Vegas and I got a requirement that wherever you see the city Las Vegas, you just change it to a, its short name which is LV, uh, you know, the initials of first two words. So Las is the first word, the initial is L and V Vegas. So that should be LV. So in simple statement, uh, simple English statement, if I need to say, if city is Las Vegas, then change it to LV. Now let's do the simple thing in our click view scripting. So for that, let's click on this edit script button. And here we have the city column. So after that, we will write our statement, which is if and break it open city city um, equals to Las Vegas so this is single quote to put the uh, string Las Vegas and end it put a comma then it should be changed into LV. So again, open the single quote LV and close it. Put a comma, otherwise it should be city. All right. And the closing bracket. We will give it a column name as new city. City. All right. And comma so we have now just satisfy our requirement with the if statement if city is equals to Las Vegas then change it to LV otherwise let it be as city whatever value it has so this is how you can use the if statement so let's save this and reload to see what it will do click OK and you can see the new city is populated over here and if I have to drag it if I will just drag it to near to the city now you can see the Las Vegas has changed to LV however the rest of the values aren't changed so this is how a uh, you can use the if statement for your conditional uh, requirement or anything you know you want to change it according to the your requirement basically uh, i have uh, required it uh, because of the reorg or something so after reorg uh, whenever the department names changed or according for reporting requirements uh, we need to change the department names or you know change certain values within the list of values in that case it's really handy you know to change one or two or three different values simply put the statement quickly and you are done uh, and you have the new report ready based on the reorg so this is how uh, you can use if statement now let's see uh, how you can have a hard-coded column and what I mean when I say a hard-coded column in your data set so for that let's go into the edit script and see the condition in for which you need a hard-coded column so hard-coded column is something uh, before I say about that let me give you a scenario so here we have a customer list now suppose that uh, you have the different customer list for different products so suppose you have medical products in your company 
So this customer list is specific to your uh, medical customer, those who are purchasing you, purchasing the medical equipment or something. The next customer list is related to the industrial customer, the, the guys or, or the companies who are purchasing the industrial uh, manufacturing comp component from your company. Now the third customer list is something related to uh, sports industry. So suppose your company is engaged into making sports related equipment, then you have a customer list. Now uh, when you import data here, uh, suppose uh, there is no uh, particular uh, column about it because uh, in maybe in your data warehouse, uh, you have the separate customer list uh, for sep for the different customers. But here, uh, if you are importing customer list, uh, you want to have the segregation. So for that kind of requirement to identify uh, which customer list is related to which product, you can have a hard-coded column. And for that, uh, we will just come to this AND column, put a comma and hit enter and say this list is related to the um, medical equipment, uh, medical equipment uh, purchasing customer list. So the guys who are purchasing the medical equipment, so I will just say open a quote and say medical equipment as medical customers. Perfect. Oh, sorry, no comma is required on the last column. All right, let's save it and see what it is giving us. Let's reload it. Okay. So now it is not coming because uh, we need to go into its property and uh, have it here in this table box. So I will click here, medical customer, click add and okay. All right, I need to drag a little bit. If I drag it better. Okay. So now I have the medical equipment uh, populated for all of the rows. So this is how I can have a hard-coded column for my requirement. I can easily identify whether a row is related to medical equipment or any other customer if I have more customer lists imported into this uh, ClickWe document. So I hope uh, you are able to understand why you may need to have these hard-coded list. So these in these kind of special requirements, it's really become necessary to identify the customers or to identify a particular row with which it is related to. Now the last thing here I want to discuss is, uh, suppose uh, you have uh, this data set uh, and the requirement is uh, you just don't want to get need you just don't need the fax number so one of the things is uh, you can remove the column by going into the script or you can comment it right so in this way uh, in future if you again need it you will just uncomment it and get it back so let's see it how you can comment or uncomment a column or a uh, script line. For that, let's go into edit script. And for fax number, the way to comment is putting two forward slashes. And now you can see the color is changed. It is now nowhere related to this color, which is quite red. So if I save and reload, click OK, you can see I don't, I don't have a fax number over here. Now, the next thing maybe you can say I don't want, suppose I have a requirement where I don't want to see the multiple columns. So for that, 
you have the option of multi-line comments so this is so let me go into edit script so this is a single line comment so suppose I don't want to show from home phone mobile phone and fax number I can do either I can have like this single line comments three single line comments or a one multi line comment which let me show you how you can do it so I remove this so you will have forward slash star which is opening a multi line comment and a star forward slash so now your three columns are converted uh, into comment so they will not be visible into the front end you will save it and reload it okay now you can see this home phone and fax number mobile phone is not appeared over here so you can see this how uh, easy it is to do the change in the scripting and get the required data as per the requirements so this is uh, pretty much all I wanted to give you an idea about uh, how uh, you can do the basic stuff in scripting uh, I have few more things to discuss about uh, click view scripting uh, as far as basics are concerned so I will meet you in the next video with some new topics till then bye bye